is Wendy Williams considered incapable? After the Lifetime documentary, an update on the former host. The Hollywood Reporter claims that in May 2022, Wells Fargo declared former talk show host Wendy Williams to be incapacitated, declaring her a victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. The bank put her under guardianship. Over time, Williams' health declined, leading to the choice. 2018 saw the initial diagnosis of Graves' disease by medical professionals, according to Forbes. She took pauses from her chat show in the ensuing years, and as a result, the producers decided to end the program in 2022, according to the BBC. Williams's diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia was later disclosed by her medical team. The diagnosis was made in 2023 by doctors, but it wasn't publicized until right before the debut of Where is Wendy Williams? According to the BBC, her medical team said they made the information public to spread awareness and encourage people to have compassion. The Toot Winnie 2002 period of Williams' life covered by the program shows signs of cognitive impairment. The TV celebrity can even be seen in certain situations straining to recall specifics from her past. According to the New York Post, Sabrina Morrissey, Wendy Williams' court-appointed guardian, recently sold her Manhattan apartment. The announcement was made months after Williams' documentary series debuted on Lifetime. Morrissey had before blasted the network for allowing the program to air. She feels that it shamelessly exploits and portrays her in an extremely demeaning and undignified manner, as reported by People magazine. Wendy Williams, Where Is She? broadcast on February 24 and 25, and is currently available for viewing on Lifetime.